Westworld is a genre show, but I like to think when we're looking at the characters, especially the women, we are naturalistic and real and trying to deal with topics that women face to overcome forces that oppress you. How do you get past what has been done to you and yet not be defined by it? We've met the Confederados in the first season. Dolores has unfinished business with them. The only way she's gonna survive is to build herself an army. Quite the welcome. And you are? Call me Wyatt. You're Wyatt? The tensions that you feel as a human, having to present yourself in a certain way in order to be construed as a leader, there's a certain level of persona that you have to craft for that, especially as a woman. And Dolores has to do that. I think I thought I would really be playing this character that had this soul of a man, this maniac of a man. And then I realized that Wyatt can also be a girl's name. <laughs> and it completely changed my perspective on the character. Just promise me your men. I need them if we're ever to survive this threat. I think that episode was the most difficult for me character-wise because I've never been given a role where I'm commanding an army or talking like a general. Who is he? We've spent three episodes seeing this host who is a war general and a vengeful goddess. Suddenly she sees her father and she becomes a daughter again. I'm here. And you realize she's still the same person with vulnerabilities, with feelings, with insecurities, with doubts. Dolores? Daddy. You can't express all the things you are at every given moment. But the totality of those moments, if you string them together, is what creates a true portrait of who you really are. Derelicts of an older conflict. These soldiers carrying on the mythos of the post-Civil War moment in which some of these soldiers fled south of the border and elected to keep fighting. So we knew that their environment had to be a fort. The challenge was to feel the power and history of the place. Howard Cummings built an amazing set. They wanted kind of an apocalypse now quality to it. So I pushed it into that Adobe Ford style. It's not the Alamo, it's not Western, it's actually sort of more Midwestern. The place had to look bombed out and totally disrepaired. There's sections of it missing. We built ramparts with cannons and barricades, these big spiky barricades that they used and bunker kind of things. I wanted evidence of their people being amputees. So there's a big infirmary. The hardest thing there was just the scale. It's a massive set for us. When you're in a setting, that is very realistic. It's so much easier to let yourself go and become the character. Sir! Sir, we saw him. You're coming up from the ground. One of the biggest challenges on season two was the big battle at Fort Forlorn. We fight this battle head on, we lose. We fight it my way, we all win in the end. It was big. It involved a week's worth of prep. We had a couple hundred extras and stunt people and horses. To your post! It was just one big choreographed stunt effects sequence that had to be timed and planned and executed perfectly. They were trying to create a wall that separated the people in the fort from the marauding horde. Basically what they're trying to sell is that she's shooting the ammo in Explosive Depot, which is all buried underground. We had high explosives. We wanted to create explosions, almost cylindrical in shape, taller, and then in between layouts, some more that was more of a cloud, but violent. Then you have the challenge of having all the stunt people and all the people in the middle of this battle and sorting out how we're gonna do things safely. There's a lot of different ways to do shootouts. On our show, we just rehearse it, filming it as many times as possible, and then we only have the squibs on our actors or our stunt performers once. We then blow the squib and then move on. We rehearsed the battle sequences for about a day prior to shooting. Fire away! How people die was very important to us. We're always looking to push the envelope and use the most effective, startling effects. They had kegs sitting here. We simulated that the bullet got in there and it took out two Confederados. 
and the squibs that we use, the you know the blood hits that we use. We fire the charges by radio, timed to the guns going off. It was unreal. The production value was enormous. Watching them collide was, to me, the perfect image for the show. Yeah. It was like the past and the present just 